What's up everyone, this is Vince Del Monte back with another episode of Ask the Skinny Guy Savior. We're downstairs in Jim Del Monte. It's under construction right now. We've got uh, two 50 foot trucks out front getting ready to bring all the equipment down here. And um, they will be down here soon. I guess they're taking a little while to get that equipment off the truck. It's pretty big stuff. So, um, all right, so we got some great questions here. I've looked ahead here. The first one goes to Diego. Diego says, hey Vince, is it true that major compound movements like squats, deadlifts, rows, without any accessory isolated exercises like various curls would be, result in more arm growth than just doing isolated curl exercises by themselves? Additionally, would combining heavy compounds with isolated exercises work even better than just major compounds? Thanks. Um, keep up the great work. So Diego, the answer to your question is that you need both. Uh, the reason for that is because when you're doing compound exercises, let's say you've got this uh, mindset that I can build my arms just by doing heavy rows. Well, when you're doing a heavy row, you're not fully shortening your bicep and you're not fully lengthening your bicep the same way you would as in a curl. So if you're relying on heavy curls or heavy rows and you know deadlifts and things to build up your arms, you're not actually you're not going to be using all the muscle fibers available within your arms because you're not working it through a full range of motion. So you're going to limit the gains on your arms. And remember, you're only as strong as your weakest link. So if you don't spend any time doing, say, isolation work on your arms, your back is going to be limited. Eventually, your arms aren't going to be able to help you continue aren't going to be able to assist you to continue with your gain. So make sure you're using a combination of compound exercises and isolation exercises if you want to maximize your full potential. It's not an either or thing. Next question goes to Matt Ellen Bogan. Uh, Matt says, I, Vince, I know there are methods of weightlifting that stimulate the release of more testosterone and other methods that stimulate the release of more growth hormone. Are there methods of weightlifting that stimulate the release of both of these hormones at the same time? Thanks for helping all of us transform our bodies. So this is a great question, Matt. So the answer is yes, there is. You know, we know higher volume training with um, a certain percentage of your one rep max is going to help increase testosterone. We know that any form of exercise that uh, generates a lot of lactic acid helps produce growth hormone. Um, but aside from that, what I want you to think about is not, you know, you know, manipulating hormones when you go to the gym. I don't really think like that when I go into the workout. I really zoom in on the practical, on the things I can control. Those are variables you can't actually control, right? Those are outcome-based um, goals. You can't control those things. But what you can control are performance-based goals. So you can control how hard you work. You can control uh, progressing from workout to workout. You can control keeping that rest period, you know, 30 seconds if that's what it says on your program. You can control the tempo if the tempo's supposed to be a certain time. So when you go to the gym, uh, you know, even when you're searching for programs, don't look for, I'm looking for a growth hormone enhancing program. Look for a program that, you know, teaches you how to progress. And if you progress, you'll get the benefits of those things. So the next question goes to Daniel. Wellstead. Hey, what's up, Dan? He says, I love the concept of wave loading, but I'm wondering what effect will wave loading have on your body if you shorten the rest periods due to one minute? Sometimes I just want to pump some more iron and not wait around. I feel good to go for 60 second rest. Would that hinder my strength gains? Thank you, Savior. <laughs> um, absolutely. That would completely defeat the purpose of wave loading. Wave loading is a strength based protocol. And the reason wave loading works is because we're working with heavy weights and we're, we're acknowledging that it takes longer to recover from a set when we're training closer to your one to six rep max. So if you start taking 60 second rest periods instead of two to three minute rest periods, you're not gonna give your neuromuscular system enough time to recover. It's important to understand the difference, I'm not gonna go into a science lesson here on the difference between your central nervous system and your metabolic system, but your central nervous system takes longer to recover than your metabolic system. So even though you may feel fine after 60 seconds, if your training effect, the training effect you're seeking out is strength, don't mess around with the rest periods. Keep it at three minutes minimum. Okay, so the next question goes to um, Inca, Lion. Inca wants to know, sub Vince, I'm trying to bulk, but my schedule is very tight right now. So my question is, can you get good results training twice a week and what would, your be what would the best approach be? Two full body workouts or upper body one day and a lower body the other? Uh, thanks for answering. Uh, depends, again, uh, what outcome you're seeking out. If you're looking for more hypertrophy, if you're looking for more of an increase in muscle mass, 
than I would do an upper lower body split. If you're looking more for a fat loss effect, uh, more of a like kind of total body fitness conditioning kind of uh, result, then I would do full body workouts. Remember, um, Splits just allow you to specialize on a program. So if you want to specialize on certain body parts, if you want to see your legs come out more, if you want to see your muscles actually grow, go with the two day split, uh, the upper lower split and not the two full bodies. So that would be my advice. Next question goes to Kyle Beavers. Kyle says, hey Vince, I'm 20 years old and weigh about 125. I've been working out for about four years now. I go to the gym four days a week and usually only gain two to three pounds per month. However, if I stop working out for even a week, it seems like all the weight that I've put on from working out in the gym seems to disappear. What am I doing wrong? Thanks. So Kyle, what you're experiencing is a lack of muscle maturity. You're 20 years old, you're just getting started, so you know, you're, you're, you're making gains, but you're noticing that if you don't stick with it, you kind of lose them. And that's because your body has no interest in keeping those gains. Uh, you have to understand that building muscle is something that you wanna do. Your body has no interest in keeping muscle on your body, because muscle is a very, exp it's an expensive tissue. <laughs> Financially, it's even expensive to keep on your body. Uh, your, your muscle needs protein, it needs stimulus, to stay on your body. So when you stop training, this is normal. Most people that haven't trained for a long time kind of notice that their body regresses a bit. So this is just motivation for you to look at this as a lifelong marriage style relationship. This isn't kind of like a one night thing. This is a, a long term relationship. If you want the gains to last, you've got to put in the time and effort. You know, that's why you see guys in their, you know, 30s and 40s who've been doing this forever. Um, they're just, you know, they're thick. Their bodies look hard, they look dense. It's because they've got years and years of muscle maturity. So you need to just stick with it and uh, things will get better along the way. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm looking forward to doing this again with you. In the meantime, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. And make sure you visit VinceDelmontiFitness.com. I've got a free report there for you on how to gain 10 pounds in one month. Uh, it, it's got a free workout and diet program. If you haven't downloaded that, go check it out. I also have some quizzes there for you. If, you, if you're looking to test your knowledge, check them out. I think you'll find them really fun and you'll be able to see how smart you really are. And you'll get a score at the end of it. So. Um, with that said, we'll see you in a couple days with a brand new episode. Until then, keep making it happen. See you guys.